Hello viewers, I'm Aidan, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be making a video on the 1998 MX-5 Mark 1. Um, I bought this car a couple of weeks ago because it, it popped up on Facebook Marketplace and a friend of mine who's got a Mark 1 sent it over to us um, and it was just around the corner from me so I, I had to go and have a look how cheap it was. So um, I went to go and view the car, it looked really clean the guy said it needed a, um, a bit of attention on one of the sills um but other than that it was pretty sound it hadn't moved for five years so i took a look underneath it um around it it seemed pretty solid really the guy had uh, talked it down a bit um looked inside uh, it's got the tan interior leather um power steering power windows so i thought well i might as well take the punt at it so um I ended up taking the car off the guy. When we were viewing it, the only problem that would say really um, was that there was a slight leak coming from the power steering rack. So um, we had a look and it's the return pipe. So that was it. I bought the car through it in the unit. It sat for a couple of weeks. And um, anyway, this morning, I went on MX-5 parts to go and buy the part. And it turns out that the, the pipe that I need is on MX-5 parts. Is from 89 to 94 with mine being a 98 so i rang the number and the guy said that they don't make the part anymore so i'd need to have one made so um i spoke to one of my friends and he said um the, he thinks there's a place in gateshead and um, he'll, he'll get the name off his mate anyway he got back to us he said there's per tech they, they made him a pipe before for a clutch for his defender when uh, they couldn't get one bought off the shelf so um, I gave the guy a ring, told him the situation, he said, take the pipe off, bring it through, I'll see what I can do. So um, that's what I'm doing now. Underneath here, it's coming from this top pipe, it's just weak from there where it's corroded away. So I'm going to take that pipe off from the fit in there, disconnect it from that hose there, and that's it. Well... It's off. Only took a bit of persuasion and a little tiny bit of mess. But um, I think you can see in this corner there, look the force is in. This is just a crack in there. So uh, it's just been weakened. And that's it, simple as that. Let's go and get one made. Just on my way now, I've just put it in the sat nav. It says it's going to be a 28 minute drive. I'm just with my little best mate. Say hello, Mr. Schnorts. Hello. So I haven't had any luck at Pertec because um, he reckons that the pipe that I've got, where is it? He reckons this pipe, um, the bends here, are too thin for his uh, his bender, the, the two intricate. They'll not be able to quite get them ones. He says these ones with them not being as... Uh... <coughs> I don't know. Well, basically, he's given us the address of somewhere else. Uh, auto pipe performance equipment. So, I've hired them in the sat-nav another half an hour. Let's see where this leads us to her. Uh... Turns out that they were shut. Well, the bloke was sent us to the wrong place. I knew the original place was shut because when I googled it, it said they were shut at half three. Um, but I thought I'd go there anyway. I got there, and obviously it was an empty unit. So I, I just thought, right, you know what it is? I'm ordering the other part because it looks pretty much identical. Now, it's come in the post today, and lo and behold, it looks pretty much exactly the same. So, obviously, there's the old one. And there's the new one right next to it. Same thread pitch in that. I mean, it looks exactly the same to me. So let's give it a whirl. Well, it's installed and it's working no bother. So I don't know what the crack is on MX-5 parts, but if you've got anything later than a 94 Mark 1 with power steering, it still works. I'll show you now.
Up there with that light. That'll do. I'll tell you what. Take a quick look round the car anyway. There she is there. Nice tan interior, she's a beauty. So the bloat I got it off, I've done a little bit of work on the sill, which to be honest doesn't look too bad. A bit of filler and some paint and it does look solid. Usually <coughs> you can see in the end cut they just don't really bother. And he's sorted out a bit. I mean it would deal with a bit more um Primer and paint on it, but other than that, it's pretty sound. There she is. There, I've put a OMP drift wheel on because it came with this bollocks, it's bendy gear. Um, but other than that, look at her, she's smart as hell. This is a uh, the new project. I mean, not that that's gonna get neglected or anything but uh this is what's uh getting done for now right so that's pretty much it for the uh, mx5 video for today basically the plan is for the channel any sort of maintenance customization or modification i do on the mx5 or the sg i'm going to be recording and make my own content and uh, a lot of my mates have got off-road builds and um, a few of them's doing skidder builds at the minute so there's going to be plenty of content coming, so if you want to see more, like and subscribe.